to my channel. I hope you're having an amazing day. It is a new day <laughs> and a new shirt. <laughs> um, we are going to talk all about shoes and what to bring. Maybe what not to bring. But I'm going to share with you what I bring. And this is specifically on a seven day or longer cruise. And then I'm also going to talk to you about a couple extra things that I brought that had to do with when I went overseas um, and an option that I bring when I go to kind of colder areas. All right, so first of all, for like an elegant night or something, I would not bring this because I don't dress up that much. But if that occurred, I have a pair of really pretty elegant type shoes that I would bring. So these are really, really pretty. <laughs> They've been kind of tucked away for a little while. I haven't worn them for a while. I have very wide feet, so it's very hard to find shoes like this um, that are for wide feet. Now, I got these from JCPenney a while ago, and styles tend to change so often. Sometimes these things don't stay in. It's kind of like not like tennis shoes where sometimes a famous style can stay in and in. Sometimes styles go in and out. And I think a lot of the stuff I find at JCPenney, that seems to be the case. So it would be something like this that I would bring, something really pretty, elegant, very shiny, satiny. I'm not into whole blingy thing. Um, they are a little bit of a spike, but they're not too hot. All right, so I have these. Okay, let me show you what I typically wear for a formal night. Now these shoes are pretty worn out. Uh, I'm not going to lie. I've tried to replace them. I've been looking online. I got these at JCPenney as well. I put them on and I almost like, oh my gosh, these are like the best things ever. So, but yeah, they're just truly worn out. So as you can see, and I'm kind of like covering because they're like so old, they've like been worn in so much, but they're so pretty. They have a zipper in the back and um, I usually tend to find them... Um, uh, my shoes a little bit, uh, JCPenney and Payless was a big thing, Payless is closed now. All those had wide, if you have wide feet, those they had wide shoes. Um, another place to look, Kohl's has good wide shoes online, but this is a JCPenney fine. And so I'll typically wear this, I mean it's a very short heel, and of course this is, these are very old now. I mean I wear them a lot. Something I see most people wear, a lot of people wear, um, they get away with wearing like a wedge. So like a wedge like this, and these are really pretty. Now, but they're bulky, and if I can't fit them in my suitcase, they're not coming. <laughs> so, um, but they're kind. These are really comfortable to wear as well. They're this material is stretchy, and um, for dinner and for short periods of time, a little bit of dancing and stuff. Knowing I can go right back to my room and put on another pair of shoes. I wouldn't mind bringing them as long as there was space in the suitcase, but for right now there hasn't been space. So my one standard item that I bring is always my blingy flip-flops, and I've talked about this on several occasions. My blingy flip-flops are things that I always bring. You have to find something, some kind of sandal, some kind of walking shoe that you're comfortable with. Um, and these are what I bring. It has a little bit of a wedge, not too much. I have other blingy flip-flops. I have one in a navy and I have one in a brown. I'll bring them all. I usually just bring one. Of course, if I would be gone for two, three weeks, I probably would bring maybe an extra pair just to have options, maybe like a black and a brown. And that way, you know, that kind of takes care of everything. Um, some people just don't care. They're just like, I'm on vacation. I don't care if they match the, my clothes, whatever. I'm okay like that. I will do that. I think black pretty much goes with everything. But if I if they fit in my suitcase, I would try to bring it. So the next thing that has to go into my suitcase are my uh, tennis shoes. So I don't have the ones that I normally wear. They're at work. Um, but these are my previous ones. And so typical walking shoes. And then I bring one pair of Converse. So these have been my favorite go-to, my navy ones. Uh, I actually, I in Converse, I can wear uh, little boy sizes, and so I'll go to little boy sizes, much cheaper if you can fit into them as well, and these little navy ones, I think I got them for like under 20 bucks, they're super cheap, and they are the most comfortable Converse that I have, and I have a few. 
Um, so these are the ones that I like to bring. These are the ones I brought last time. I brought these and my blingy flip-flops on the short cruise, and that was it. Pretty much wore these on, and then I had the blingy flip-flops, and that's pretty much it. I don't need much more than that. Um, the reason I typically bring two for a longer one is because my feet tend, walking for that many days, they tend to swell and have issues and I need them to breathe so then I put the flip-flops on and then they'll get tired of the flip-flops and then I'll put the tennis shoes on and sometimes it's a different pair of tennis shoes. Um, it all depends on what's happening. Certain kinds of excursions I'd rather have something with a big grip on the bottom so a better tennis shoe is better for that. So just remember something like that. The one thing I'm not going to pull out is my water shoes. So if I know I'm definitely going to hit the beach um, there's going to be usually some kind of beach excursion, some kind of something like that. Um, you know, stingray, we do the stingrays. Take uh, water shoes. Uh, you never know what the ground's going to be like, how you're going to feel and stuff. And I like to get the ones that are more like a shoe. So you actually um, have like a sole on the bottom. And that will actually help as an additional pair of shoes. Um, to go to the beach excursion, come back and stuff. You, I, I could wear mine like that. Um, some people have them to where they're really flimsy and uh, they're just there to kind of protect a little bit with a very thin sole and not really more like a walking shoe where mine are like that and they dry out very fast. So those are the things. So those are my go-tos. My water shoes, at least two pairs of tennis shoes, my flip-flops, and um, my little sandals. Sounds like a lot, but remember I'm wearing one pair of tennis shoes as I'm traveling, so I'm not, I mean that's not in my bag. And the water shoes are typically for one specific type of thing, just to protect me during those excursions. So that's, it's not like any other shoe. Um, if I can, I have a pair of flat flip flops that I like to walk around maybe if I go down to the hot tub or the pool or to go into the spa. They're just little flat ones. Um, they're so flat they, they don't even take any room up. And I just throw those in and those are like extra. But the blingy ones are always there just in case like I need something to wear to dinner. So that's why I like to take the two pairs. Maybe excessive but that's pretty much where I go slightly overboard. Now, when I did go overseas, um, I really thought about what I was going to be doing and walking around and stuff. I also knew that they tend to have rain every once in a while, and we did. Um, and so I thought, oh, I should think about things like that in my, my you know, footwear. And so I took my normal shoes, and then what I said to do is I said at the last minute, I decided I'm going to wear my boots. I'm going to take my boots with me. And I'll show you. So these are my boots. I love these boots. I have very big calves. So this is a wide calf, wide foot, has a very short heel. And these, uh, I can, I, the, I walked all around the Vatican with these. I walked all day in these shoes. These boots are so nice and so comfortable. I got them at Payless. I wish... I wish I had bought like a second pair to have on the side just for when these wear out because these are so nice. They're so nice. So I did take these to Italy with me and I wore them the whole time I've gone two weeks. I think I wore them four times. So I wore them two times in Italy when I was there and then I wore them um, at during two excursions that we went out because on that particular cruise, seven day cruise, we had a five stops I believe. So I was able to wear these and so comfortable. Okay, so this is the last thing. Now, I <laughs> I don't like the cold. Um, let's just say it. I have arthritis. I get very cold and I, I get in a lot of pain. So I tend to over <laughs> exaggerate when I say I need it to be in warm climate. Not really though, because if you felt if you have arthritis, you understand the pain. Um, but I had to go to a work thing last year and it was in Reno and I knew the weather was going to be really bad. It actually snowed while I was there and um, it actually, for some of the, my, my colleagues that were there, they actually had a hard time getting their flights out the next day. Like I was lucky because I got out 
the day before and some of them weren't leaving till the next day and they their flights were canceled because of the snow I feel so bad but what happened was I thought well I better find something because I really don't have anything and I didn't want to spend a hundred dollars on what are those called Sperry boots Spurry boots there they're very expensive they're like well over a hundred dollars and I'm like I'm not gonna spend that they're highly recommended, but I ended up going to the outlet here near me, and I found these at, I think it's Columbia. Well, hold on. Yes, at Columbia. Um, so I found these. Perfect. They're blue. <laughs> I love them. And nice and cozy inside. Super comfortable. I tried on, I don't know how many pairs because I was super worried. They are waterproof and um, like grip and snowproof and stuff. And I wore these all around when we did our um, uh, tour at uh, the uni local university because we do a tour of the university when um, we we go to these various conferences. And so all through the Reno University, so I had these on. <laughs> I was so I was like, they kept my feet so warm. Now, yeah, and if you're like me, like if your feet are cold you're cold. If your nose is cold, you're cold. Yeah. So I got these and perfect. And I wore them. I was there for four days, five days. And I think I wore them three days of the five days. Like I wore them the day after I got there, the day to the university, and I think the day I left. So I wore these. And so I'm taking those to, I go to Chicago in a couple weeks and I'm taking those and then I had also bought a big down jacket. So I'm going to put that in another, I'm going to show you some other things um, uh, tomorrow. Tomorrow? Yeah, tomorrow. Tomorrow will be those other things. So those are the shoes pretty much that I would take. If I, again, if I went to Alaska, I'd probably take those blue ones. If I go, of course, like Chicago, or I, I don't know what's going on. I'm, I haven't even checked the weather for the next couple weeks, but I'm assuming I'm going to take those. Um, but anywhere cold, I would take those. So that would be an addition. I would probably leave out my sandals, though. So there'd be a little bit of swapping out. So, of course, you know, you go for the climate, you go whatever's there. Um, and I think that's it, right? Okay, so that was just shoes. I hope that was enough. I hope that was clear. Was I clear? If not, next week, after this series is over, it's I'm going to do about nine... I don't even know how many. Anyway, one day next week, just keep watching. Just keep watching. Um, I will have kind of a summary of exactly like what I would bring for Caribbean or hot weather. And then I will show how I switch it out for a colder climate. I hope that makes sense. So at least you can see a little bit and how I put it together because all the things I've been showing you are not necessarily everything I bring. Those are all options that I bring. So I hope, you under I hope you're getting that. Okay. All right. So if you have any questions, leave a comment below. Take care. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. What am I supposed to do? Don't forget to subscribe. Follow me on Instagram. Take care. Have a great day.